Hey guys, Norm Zank here. Um, today I just want to talk very quickly um, about the Bungie new game. Hey guys, today I just want to talk about the Destiny beta, okay? Um, now there will be a giveaway, as I say in the title. I have two available beta codes, and I will give those away, and I'll give you details at the end of this video on how to do that. But before I jump into that, I want to talk about the overall beta and my experience with the beta. Now... Again, keyword here, this is a beta, so I have to judge it by what I'm just doing right now, and I can't judge it on the full game until September. But let's jump into the beta itself. Now, I'm not a big MMO guy at all. I, I hate World of Warcraft. Um, I never really got into Knights of the Old Republic, and I didn't get into DC Universe. I uh, tried it, didn't really like it. Uh, the reason why I don't like MMOs is because it seems like whatever I do, in it, like whatever I play in MMO, I really don't know what the fuck to do. I'm like, are you really just going around leveling up? Um, Destiny, however, it, there's a clear path on what you're supposed to do. I mean, there, there are missions that you know you're supposed to go to that mission, and it, it's part of the story. So it was just great jumping into an MMO that I I'm not a big MMO guy. I think the most uh, the most hours I spent on an MMO was Final Fantasy set or uh, eleven. And again, I didn't know what the hell I was supposed to do. I was just leveling up for like weeks, and that was the most I ever played an MMO. An MMO. So I, I jumped in this MMO, and I, I was really happy to know I got to go here. I have to go here. I have to go here. And I like how you unlock stuff after you play through each mission. You get to upgrade your character, so on. And um, I think it's cool how you're playing a mission, and there's all these people that are living in this world that can, A, help you, or just they're just fucking around in this world, especially in the tower. The tower seems like the main hangout where people just hang out um, and do shit. Now, I really care less about the MMO aspect, as I am more curious about the game mechanics, seeing how this is Bungie's first game since Halo. And the game, a lot of people compare the game to uh, Borderlands meets Halo, and some people like to throw some kill zone in there, okay? Um, I never really played Borderlands that much. I, I, I have both games, and I played for a little bit, but, you know, most of my time spends with Metal Gear, Final Fantasy, and Halo. Um... The, it's, it looks like Halo, but it doesn't play like Halo, if that makes any sense. Like, the control scheme is totally different than Halo. However, there's maps that look identical to maps in previous Halo games. What, like, settings look like Halo. The setting does. Um, even the sound effects remind me of Halo. But there's also stuff that reminds me of Star Wars. Because when you summon your, your ghost, which is your little cubicle thing, you can summon a ship... And, you know, it, it kind of, it's like it goes from Halo, but it looks like the, the speeder from Return of the Jedi on the, Endor War, on the Endor Woods. So, there's a lot of different elements. I don't want to sit there and say it's like this, it's like that, it's like that. Because it, it's so different from anything else, it has to be its own thing. But it does give me a Halo feel when I'm playing it. Because just the look of the game. And, and it has Bungie's signature. Like, if you play Bungie games, you can kind of see what their signature is. Even the ghost, who is voiced by uh, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, which I thought was amazing. I love playing this game and just hearing Tyrion all over the fucking place. It's like, fucking yeah. Um, so, as a fanboy of, of Game of Thrones, that was fucking great. That was a great touch. Um, but even his... Um, thing, the ghost, or whatever the cubicle thing is, looks like the 343 Guilty uh, Spark, or whatever the hell it's called in Halo. It's basically the same thing, except for in Halo, it's round, and this one, it's like, it looks like an everlasting God Stopper from the movie, you know? It's like all edges and shit. But, um, you know, they got marks that mind you of Halo in this game, and I think it's the closest thing we're ever gonna get to Halo on the, P on the PlayStation until Microsoft, you know, bellies up, and we get Halo for real, but, you know, I mean, Microsoft's still hanging around even though they're not beating the PS4 in sales. Um, there is an online mode called Crucible, and I'm going to answer one question that's been bothering me for a long ass time. Is there a team deathmatch in this game? And the answer is yes, just not in the beta. Um, after you beat Mission 5, I believe it's called Last Array, and you're at level 5, it then unlocks... Um, multiplayer the only one available in the beta is basically like territories where you have three territories you have to capture and defend um but there's different ways to go about it you don't have to strictly capture and defend them so 
um, which is really, really fun. i playing the hell out of that. Um, but there is a team deathmatch, and there's like four or five other modes, but it's only available in the actual game. It's not available in the beta. You can see where it is, and when you go to click on it, it tells you not available in this game. So it is in there if people are wondering. I personally can't wait to see how team deathmatch works because the the territory game is just really really fucking hard. I mean, I mean, I'm getting two kills here, three kills there. My brother and my friend, they're doing really good in it. I'm not I'm not a first person shooter. I love playing them, suck as hell at them. Um, but I think Destiny the beta is a good start. Can't wait to play the full game. People are already quick to proclaim this game of the year. People are already pro proclaiming, well, this is the death of Halo. This is the death of Call of Duty. Um, and I won't go that far because until I can play the actual game, get into the team death match, get into the game modes that I really like, play through the campaign some more, I'm not going to proclaim nothing because, in my opinion, Call of Duty has really good multiplayer as much as I fucking hate Call of Duty. Right, I have to give it. I I love uh, playing the multiplayer for Call of Duty, even though I hate the shit out of it. And Halo is really good with the multiplayer and the campaign. Uh, Halo to me has the best first-person shooter campaign. I'm not counting Half Life. I'm talking about nowadays games, first-person shooters. Halo has a fantastic campaign. So until I can actually dissect the game in September, I'm not going to proclaim that like everybody's proclaiming it. Okay. As for the death of Call of Duty. Call of Duty's doing that to itself. It's not Destiny doing it to Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty doing itself. I mean, you can't keep releasing game year after year after year, the same shit, and then you switch stuff up that's so asinine like this Advanced Warfare and obviously put no effort into it and just ripping off Titanfall and stuff. You know, Call of Duty's killing itself. And right now, I'm pretty sure um, EA or whoever produces Titanfall are kicking themselves in the ass for not multi-platforming this game because it's not making sales. It's not making sales on the Xbox One or the Xbox 360. And the fact that Destiny's going to come in and just, I mean, let's be honest, it's going to fucking wipe the floor with it when it comes to the sales. And, me, you know, the fact that it's multi-platform is just going to kill it even more. So, um, I mean, they're really... They have to be kicking themselves in the ass. They need to hurry up and release a second one quick so they can make a multi-platform. I know they signed a contract with Microsoft where the first one's uh, strictly on the Xbox and the second one would be multi-platform. But overall, um, I'm happy with the beta. I'm enjoying it. I'm actually getting ready to end this video and go jump back on the beta with my friends. Um, it's a game that you have to experience in order to to get, you know, you have to play to experience, if that makes any sense. I just can't sit there and tell you what it is because it's a multiple of different things. Um, I'm enjoying it. Not quick to proclaim it the best first-person shooter of all time. Um, I will, you know, talk about that in September when the full game actually comes out. So, I have two beta codes that are available. And I'm going to give two beta codes... One to each, per one to one different person, you know, to two different people. And how you do that is basically, if you leave a comment and share my video on either Twitter or Facebook, then you have a chance to win. And then tomorrow, 24 hours, um, I'm going to randomly pick two people, personal message you with the code. Uh, simple as that. Now, it, I'm to be honest. If you are someone who comments all the time, shares my stuff all the time, you are going to be a better chance of, you know, getting the codes. Someone who watches my videos and never fucking comments, throws a comment up there, I'm not even going to pay attention to that person. Um, this is for people that follow me through the thick, the thin, don't mention DBE all the fucking time. And, um, you know, for those type of people. So, if you want a code, um, that's what you do. Leave a comment and... Go ahead and share my video, and 24 hours, you might get a code from me. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm Storm Zinc, and that's my opinion.